Today I'm in Lappafats to show you this house here in this quiet forested environment. So let's check it out. So here we are in Lappafats. I will show you this house with almost one hectare of land I'm just around it. And this house is located in Lappafats, which is a quiet town with just a couple of houses in this spot along this non-asphalt road in Sloon municipality and the asphalt is 800 meters away, about 850 meters away the main road, the D1, is one and a half kilometers away so it is a quiet place but it's well connected to the main road so the house measures 90 square meters times three floors ground floor, first floor and the attic and the additional buildings have a footprint of 179 square meters. So let's have a look inside first. And then I'll show you around. Inside the house we enter the hallway. And on the ground floor we have three rooms. With here on the right side the kitchen. With a central heating system on wood. the kitchen itself and a sitting area this room has a view over the land on the left side of the house and the hills in the distance and adjacent is another room with a wood stove, so there is central heating on wood but there are also several wood stoves in the house depending on the preference of the day so another room, could be a living room and back to the hallway we have access to the third room on the ground floor which is set up like a living room here is another wood stove but there is also a radiator so the central heating is in place in the entire ground floor we also have this little hallway for storage and the bathroom with a shower, a toilet, and a washing machine. From the hallway we can also go on the staircase. To the first floor. So here we have several more rooms, here's a bedroom, with a view to the front of the house, here's a staircase to the attic, we will get there later. Here we have another bedroom with a balcony. The balcony is on the front of the house. Then we have two more rooms that require more renovation. Here's a spacious room. And one more room over here. So 
four rooms upstairs, three rooms downstairs, and upstairs is also a bathroom. Still in the original state from the 80s. There's a small storage room. And here we have the staircase to the attic. The attic has plenty of space, also a high ceiling, so space for more rooms if you need them. Here you can see the renovated chimney for the central heating system. Window looking out over the land and the road. So that's the attic. The roof was renewed about 10 years ago, so it's in a good condition. Now we'll go outside and have a look at the sheds. We're back on the back of the house and here we have additional buildings with a total surface of 179 square meters. So here we have a shed that used to be the stables for the cows. Here we have a great space for uh, firewood and on the left used to live kitchen, uh, chickens. Here the owner parks the car in the winter and here we have another shed. For storing potatoes and cabbages for example. And here on the right of the shed is a water tank. It's above water. You can see the overflow right here. The rainwater goes in here. So this house does have uh, city water. But before they got the city water they were using this. And now they can still use this for um, watering the garden. So there are basically two options for the water here. So let's have a quick look at the land. On this side it goes up to this tree line. We have almost one hectare of land on this property. Then on the back it goes down up to where the land has been ploughed. So the grass is included. And similarly on the right side is also more uh, meadow, so it goes up to this corner and from here it goes to the front of the road. So on both sides of the house is uh, some extra space and actually this property has four parcels and three of those parcels, one parcel with the buildings but two more parcels are in the building zone. So there are opportunities to build more here if you want to. So on this side it goes up to this line here. And from where we are now up to the road it's in the building zone. So if you're interested in such a property like this one here in Lappervats in Sloon municipality let me know. I would love to bring you here and show it to you. And all the details, services, prices, they're all on the website. The link is below the video. So check it out. And write a comment, let me know what you think about this property. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.